Hello students, I welcome you all to Arranger Academy. So today we are going to start with yet another chapter of class 6th CBSE Science. This chapter is Changes Around Us. So we see changes happening around all the time. A newborn baby turning into a kid and then to an adult. A seed growing into a plant and then to a big tree. Some raw vegetables turning into a cooked food. Ice melting into water. Water turning into steam. So in fact our life progresses with these changes happening all the time. In this particular lesson I will be discussing the NCRT questions and solutions for the chapter. So now let's proceed. Question 1. To walk through a waterlogged area, you usually shorten the length of your dress by folding it. Can this change be reversed? So, if you are passing a area se pass kar rahe ho, so you are required that you shorten the length of your dress ko shorten kar le by simply folding it so that you can prevent it from getting wet. So, can you reverse this change? Can you reverse this particular change ko ya process ko reverse kar sakte ho? So yes, you can do this. You can reverse this change by simply unfolding the dress. By doing that, your dress will come back to its original length. So the answer to this question is yes, you can reverse this change. Question 2. You accidentally dropped your favorite toy and broke it. This is a change you did not want. Can this change be reversed? So, if you accidentally or by mistake, if you dropped your favorite toy drop kar diya and somehow it got broke, so in that case, can you reverse this change? So, the answer is no. This change cannot be reversed as the toy is damaged permanently. See, it may happen that you can repair the toy. However, it is not certainly possible to get back to its original state as it was before you dropped it. So, some or the other case, even after repairing, you cannot get back to its original form. So, no, this change cannot be reversed as the toy has... Uh, undergone a permanent damage so it's no okay but let's see question 3 some changes are listed in the following table abhi uh, main aapko ek table present karunga okay so usme kuch changes list kiye hue hai aapko har ek change ko analyze karna hai for each change write in the blank column whether the change can be reversed or not so har change ko analyze karke aapko batana hai ki aap us change ko reverse kar sakte ho ya nahi if you can reverse it you have to write yes and if you cannot you have to put no Alright, bacho? so let's see the table. So here is the table with six changes being listed. We will analyze each one of them uh, individually. Fine. So the first one, the sawing of a piece of wood. So if you have cut a piece of wood, ko cut kiya hai, you have separated a wooden block, let's say from a uh, tree. So kya aap usko wapis se fix kar sakte ho in the uh, tree trunk? Definitely no, right? Because uh, you know that this change cannot be reversed. So it's a no. Second, the melting of ice candy. So, if you have ice candy and originally we know it is in a solid form. So, if it melts and if you have to put it in initial form, mein lana hai, so can you do this? Yes, you know that you can again freeze the ice candy and can get back to its initial form. So, yes, this change can be reversed. Third, dissolving sugar in water. So, if you have previous chapter hamare bada hai, so you will be knowing that sugar after getting dissolved in water can be separated by different techniques of separation. We have just uh, seen in the previous chapter that you can perform evaporation in which the water will evaporate and the sugar will be left behind. So, you can sugar or water jo components hai, unhe separate kar sakte ho. So, this can be reversed. It's a yes. The fourth one. The cooking of food. So, if you have cooked food, cook kiya hai, so you know that you have uh, some vegetables and spices uh, which has been cooked for a long time. So, certainly you cannot get back to the raw ingredients back. So, that's why this is an irreversible change uh, and thus the answer is no. The fifth one is the ripening of a mango. So, if a mango 
uh, has just ripened so you cannot get back to a raw mango so it's somehow a chemical change and you cannot reverse this so it's a no again last souring of milk so if your milk has turned sour so you cannot get back into the original milk that you had earlier so definitely this is again an irreversible change it's a no so we are done with this question let's move ahead Question 4. A drawing sheet changes when you draw a picture on it. Can you reverse this change? So, if you have drawn a drawing sheet in a picture, draw kiya hai, so you know that you have converted the original sheet uh, into some another form. So, now can you reverse this change? So, uh, before answering, I would request you to please visit our website arrangeacademy.com There you will get NCRT solutions milenge for all your chapters, for all your subjects. So please go there and download uh, the NCRT solutions for your references. The answer to this particular question is The nature of change depends on the medium used to draw the picture. So यहाँ पर एक exact yes या no हम एक particular cases पे कह सकते हैं uh, so the nature of change depends on the medium so आपने किस form में picture draw किया है by using what you have drawn the picture based on that we can say that it is reversible or not so if the picture is drawn by a pencil so अगर picture आपने pencil से draw किया है so you can easily erase it by using an eraser and you can reverse the change, right? But so uh, this is reversible in this case where you have used pencil. However, if you have uh, used colors or pens, so you know that you cannot get them erased and then the change become irreversible. So the answer to this question depends on the medium that you have used to draw the picture. All right, fine. Here comes question five. Give examples to explain the difference between changes that can or cannot be reversed. So, you have to give examples dene hai, uh, so that you can explain ki what are the differences between changes that are uh, reversible and those that are irreversible. So, we have to put examples to help them differentiate. So the answer here is that the changes that can be reversed are called reversible changes. Jin changes ko hum reverse kar sakte hain, unhe hum reversible changes kehte hain, such as filling a glass of water, opening the lid of a container, wet clothes to dry clothes, etc. So uh, filling a glass of water, you know that you can reverse it. You can again uh, make the glass empty by pouring off the water. Opening the lid of a container, you know that again you can close the lid by, uh, by simply turning the lid back. Also, you know that the wet clothes which has turned to dry clothes, again you can get it wet and again you can dry it. So these all changes are reversible, right? So this is are the examples for this one. For the second, the changes that affect the nature of an object permanently cannot be reversed. So jo changes aapke object ka nature permanently change kar dete hai, so in that case it is mostly not possible to reverse back the changes that has happened. So such changes are called irreversible changes. So for example, boiling of egg. So once you have boiled the egg, you cannot get back uh, to the initial uh, egg that you had, right? Conversion of milk into curd. So if your milk has turned into curd, so you cannot get back into milk. Batter to Italy. If you have taken a batter to prepare Italy, you cannot get back to the batter again. So such changes where the nature of the object has changed permanently, there you cannot get them reversed. These are called irreversible changes. So I hope these examples are clear, uh, which can help you to differentiate between uh, changes that can be reversed and those that cannot. All right. So here comes question six. A thick coating of a paste of plaster of Paris or what is generally known to us as POP is applied over the bandage of a fractured bone. So, you know that if a bone is fractured, fracture, ho chuka hai, so doctor usse heal karne ke liye us par ek bandage cover the bandage and then they apply a coating of a paste made out of POP. So, then this POP uh, dry and become hard so that 
इट कैन कीप द फ्रैक्चर्ड बोन इमोबलाइज ये जो हार्ड एंड पीओपी है ये जो फ्रैक्चर्ड बोन है उसे मूव नहीं करता एंड इट अलाउ इट टू हील सो कैन यू रिवर्स दिस चेंज इन पीओपी दैट हेड अकर्ड फ्रॉम द पेस्ट फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द फॉर्म ऑफ पेस्ट टू द ड्राइड फॉर्म सो कैन यू रिवर्स दिस चेंज सो The hardening of a POP is due to a chemical change. ये जो POP है जो आपके पास initially paste के form में था and then it turned hard. So ये जो hardening process था ये chemical change के through हुआ So you know that chemical changes are not reversible. So hence it cannot be reversed. The change in POP is irreversible. So we are done with this question. Question सेवन A bag of cement lying in the open gets wet due to rain during the night. So, आपके पास एक bag of cement है which you have kept open overnight. So, क्या हुआ रात को there occurred rain और जो आपके पास cement था bag of cement वो uh, wet हो चुका था. And the next day, uh, उस पर sun uh, has uh, shined brightly. So, do you think the changes which have occurred in the cement could be reversed? सो so, क्या ये सारे चेंजेस जो सीमेंट में हुए सो कैन यू रिवर्स दीज चेंजेस लेट सी वेन द सन शाइन ऑन द वेट सीमेंट इट अंडरगोज द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिहाइड्रेशन टू फॉर्म अ सॉलिड हार्ट ब्लॉक सो क्या हुआ जब नेक्स्ट uh, डे जो आपके पास वेट सीमेंट था सो सन हैज शाइन ब्राइटली सो उस वजह से द सीमेंट हैज अंडर कॉन अ डिहाइड्रेशन प्रोसेस एंड दिस प्रोसेस हैड टर्न इट इन टू अ सॉलिड हार्ट ब्लॉक सो यू ऑब्जर्व दैट दीज चेंजेस हैपन ड्यू टू केमिकल चेंजेस नाउ सिंस केमिकल चेंजेस आर इज रिवर्सिबल दिस चेंज कैन ऑल्सो कैन नॉट बी रिवर्सड Thank you students for being with us throughout the lesson subscribe to our channel arrange academy on youtube for more such videos you can visit our site arrangeacademy.com for more such details wahan aapko ncert solutions milenge for all your chapters for all your subjects so get yourself prepared for the exam keep learning keep growing thank you